A century after a hard-fought peace, dozens of leaders gathered in Paris to show that the world remembers the Great War. President Trump, who had missed a visit to an American cemetery Saturday when poor weather grounded his helicopter, teased about the inclement weather today when he visited another American memorial. You look so comfortable up there, under shelter, as we're getting drenched. You're very smart people. 1,565 Americans from both world wars rest here. The president stood alone to pay his respects and praise the historic partnership with France. We fought well together. You could not fight better than we fought together. But for all the expressions of unity, the host, French President Emmanuel Macron, delivered a pointed message about the lessons of World War I, an admonition that appeared aimed at President Trump, who calls himself a nationalist. Le nationalisme. Nationalism is a betrayal of patriotism by saying, our interests first, who cares about the others? President Trump and Vladimir Putin exchanged greetings at the ceremony and had the opportunity for conversation at a luncheon. Mr. Trump, what do you say Putin? The Russian president did an interview here and said he and President Trump agreed to the French request that leaders not hold separate meetings that could detract from the remembrances. We have just said hello to each other. Although their time together in Paris was brief, President Trump and Vladimir Putin will be together again soon, both going to Argentina for the G20 summit in about three weeks. They do have a meeting scheduled, and among the issues they'll be talking about are new tensions between the U.S. and Russia over the intermediate-range nuclear missile treaty. The president is now back in Washington after a trip home from Paris and a weekend that went very fast. I'm Kelly O'Donnell, traveling with the president in Paris.